to discuss ISIS attacks on Rojava and other issues. Frederick Ahrens, the historian specialized in political history and international relations, will join us from the Netherlands. Uh, many thanks for speaking to us, Mr. Ahrens. Since the start of the Rojava revolution, the people in the Kurdish regions are being targeted by different forces. It is striking that whenever the people of Rojava progress in their democratic system, the attacks against them increase. What is your take on these attacks and on the latest ISIS attacks on Kobani? Well, I think that uh, ISIS do not care uh, about the political system in Rojava, not simply against the Kurds, because they think that Kurds are uh, non-believers. And I think they want to take uh, Kobani because it's a strategic location. They want to get to uh, the other blues, and they want to ethnically cleanse the region. So whatever you are doing, uh, the ISIS is considering the West enemy. That is their mindset. Yes, ...definitely has revealed uh, that the British and American intelligence and the Mossad uh, work together to create ISIS. To what extent could this be true, uh, Mr. Ahrens? No, I think uh, because Edward Snowden has uh, made access to tens of thousands of cables and secret information, so you can interpret it as you want. Uh, I think that's the safe I don't believe these kind of attempt to establish relations with the West, uh, they are being widely ignored. Um, what do you think uh, the Kurdish emerging success in Rojava and other parts of Kurdistan receive so little attention in the West, uh, Mr. Ahrens? Well, I think uh, the West, how the West is functioning is, uh, is a television democracy. There are very few French uh, journalists in Rojava and so there is very little knowledge about your position. Uh, there are many reporters in the Middle East, mainly in the uh, Palestine ter territories, uh, but they do not know so much about the backgrounds because they are traveling from hotspot to hotspot. And for them, Rojava is simply not so important. And our politicians, it is really a, uh, a shame, it is a scandal, but they do not react because they don't have any knowledge about the Syrian war. How can the ties between uh, the Rojava administrations and West become closer, uh, according to you, Mr. Ahrens? Well, I think that um, the courts who are living in Western countries could set up more and more uh, lobbying campaigns. So, simply to find contact first with political parties, political uh, think tanks, uh, ministries of foreign affairs, and pass them very objective information about the Rojava revolution and about your democratization. This is really a big asset, as I said. Uh, this is almost a miracle what, what you are doing, and this should be more promoted in, in the West to, to get more uh, attention and support. Uh, on the other hand, I think also there is something internal, because what I have read in the, in the news agencies is that there is still political disagreement in Rojava between parties, and I think the courts should be more united. There should be a basic agreement on how Rojava is governed. And I think that everything should be done without finger pointing, without uh, uh, anxious to, to do space, that there is a basic agreement and consensus about uh, how to rule Rojava and build in good context with uh, Havla. Uh, with the geographic Kurdistan government. I think this is absolutely essential at this moment. Frederick Ahrens, uh, the historian specialized uh, in political history and international relations. Thank you very much for speaking to Ronahim.